the freedom about it, honestly. Just the fact that you can do whatever you want and you don't have somebody like behind you always like pushing you to do something like their way. And the ability just to be able to, you know, skate whenever you want, you know, set practices and stuff like other sports, you know. I grew up playing all, all those sports and when I found skating they just kind of just washed away. Like skating definitely took over everything else. I can see anything, no matter where I'm at, and just think about it in a creative way. And other people would just see like oh, a handrail, oh, that's just there to help me down the stairs or help me up the stairs, or a ledge or a bench, and oh, that's just for sitting. Or they have so much more potential. Such simple things have so much more potential than than people perceive them to have. Honestly, it's it's crazy. I wish everybody else could like see that, like see the world like how we see it. It kind of is like everybody else is just stuck in their own little simple, plain world. And we're using like our world through our eyes way more efficiently.
it's like an escape, you know what I mean? It's like an on your own pace type thing, you know, there's no coaches, no like set times of practice. It's just kind of something you can do, you know, by yourself or with a bunch of friends. It's just you. You're like expressing yourself the way you want to express yourself and it's it just makes it that much more special. All the other things in the world don't matter when you're skateboarding. You can just focus on that one thing, and no matter what, it's like really just like positive. It just makes you feel like you're just doing something right. Just the feeling of like having the board under your feet, and just like the motion of it, like feeling the ground beneath you moving. Just something about it kind of clears everything else out. Like that's the only thing that matters. Like it doesn't matter if you do tricks, whether you land whatever. Like that's cool too. Man, just like nothing will beat like cruising like at sunset and it's like golden hour just through the city with your homies. It's like that's it, man. That's it, like ultimate high, like you can't beat. The most joyful thing you can get from just a little simple piece of wood, like just like how it makes you feel, just like you can be creative about it. It's just so much freedom to it and it's just, it's you. I don't think that you can get the same feeling that you get on a skateboard doing anything else, whether it's just rolling around or landing a trick or being with your homies or being by yourself. Like skateboarding is so much different than everything else, like there's nothing else that even compares to it. Because it was just like so like unique and it wasn't like the same. Like every other thing that I was doing just like involved a ball and just like you had like the goal was to get the ball to a certain point and then you were done. Just like soccer, you're getting the ball to the goal. Basketball, you're getting it to the hoop. Football, you're trying to get it to the end zone. It's like you're just trying to get it the ball to a certain point. And skateboarding, you can get you to a certain point, but then there's a point past that, and it just keeps going and going and going. You can just keep going on that. Like skateboarding is like a never-ending process. There's so many more ways to express yourself with skating than there are with anything else. Like there's so many different kinds of skating. There's kids that jump down stuff, and that's what they like to do. Manuals, like flip tricks, like I don't know, rails, like any of that stuff. There's kids that like do tech stuff, and that's what they like to do. And there's vert skaters, and there's so many different aspects of it, but it's all like relatively the same, comes back to the same feeling. It's just being able to do like whatever you want to do, like whenever you want to do it. Whenever you want to skate or whenever you don't, you know, no one's telling you what to do and it's, and you can go anywhere. Being a skater, you kind of look at everything in, different, in a different viewpoint than everyone else. Like you look, at, you look at things as if you could skate them, like not as just some like regular piece of like architecture. Like the way that you see the world is just like morphed into a way like you only see like everything as like a skate spot. If some businessman's walking down some stairs with a handrail and he puts his hand on it, he's not gonna think twice about it. But I mean, if we like look at that, I mean, that's like gold to us, you know what I mean? I'll drive down the street and be like, well, I'll pull over and it'll be like just some rusted rail on the side of a building that like, I'm like, oh, this looks so sick. Like, you could skate that or like, you know, everything you look at is just like skating. There's no rules. Like I played football for like I don't know, like four years. I hated people yelling at me, telling me what to do. You know, it's like you just go do it, just have fun with it, because it's it's no one telling you what to do. You progress at your own rate, and you know there are those times when you do progress and you like learn a couple tricks one day. Like it's just so fun, or just pushing is fun. But if you're not having fun, I don't know why I do it. You know, I like it when it, that's what I love to see when kids look like they're having fun. Like that gets me psyched. Like that's that gets me motivated. A lot of skateboarders' lives are just like really similar and like you can just like get along with people really easily. And we all have that in common. It's like no matter where you go, you can make friends pretty much with anybody you want if you skateboard. When you go to other cities and there are people skating, like they just get hyped because there's like 
oh yeah, that's another skater that's been just, you know, going through the same thing that I went through. You have some kind of crazy bond with people that you meet skateboarding because you're doing something that has a negative connotation to it, that everyone's kind of against you. So when you find somebody that else that has that kind of desire that you do, you just connect with them. It doesn't matter like how old you are or what you're doing. Like when I was like 13 years old, I would hang out with 20 year olds because it's just like skateboarding just brings everyone together. When you're with your friends and you're trying something new or you're trying to get a clip at a spot, I mean, they're always gonna be like behind you, like trying to give you support to get it, you know? We'll just kind of like feed off each other and we'll all get better at skating. You know, someone will do a trick that you've never seen them do and you'll be like, ah, oh, that's so awesome. Like, I wanna learn something too. <laughs> I love skating with all my homies because like even if we're not skating hard like some of the funniest stuff will happen and if we are skating hard like you get hyped off everybody else. As long as you're having fun with your friends and just doing whatever like I think that's the best part about it. Like you go out skating with them all day every day they become like family and you know like all good people and it's so cool to have that type of friendship that uh, that's like best thing about it for me. The friends I made through skateboarding are the only friends that I guarantee you I will continue to be friends with. Like, if I meet up people elsewhere, it's like, chances are I'm not gonna hang out with them that often. But the friends I've made through skateboarding are always there. trick is probably one of the greatest feelings I've ever experienced in my life like especially when you're at like a spot and you just like try over and over you know and you don't get it for a while and you just keep going and then there's just that one when you roll away you just stick it and roll away and it just it feels like you've accomplished like everything in the entire world like it makes you feel like 100% great like to people who don't skate it's kind of hard to describe but it is probably the, one of the best feeling things that I've ever done for sure. But working for tricks, like, yeah, it sucks at the time, but when it's done, like, that's that's the most rewarding feeling you can have. When you get it, you're just, like, super hyped and just stoked on it. Like, the craziest feeling ever, just finally landing it. Like, half the time, it's, like, surreal. Like, I don't even realize what happens until, like, five minutes later. I'm just like, whoa, it's over. Like, I did it. Thank God these days skating, you know, and try a trick for like two hours. And sometimes you get in, sometimes you don't, and like you think you know how to do it. And then once you realize that you don't, it's like so frustrating. I mean, I'll get to the point where I'm like legitimately like bummed out, like wanna cry, wanna scream and break my board and kill everyone around me. 
and there's always, I mean, sometimes for me, there'll be points to where I just like, I don't want to do it anymore. Like, I'll just over it. Breaking yourself and just sweating and just like, mental just like I don't even know if I can do this anymore most of the time like landing a trick is just all in your head like you know how to do the trick but just like that crack bothers you that some some person walking bugs you or just some little thing like the wind or just something silly like it's all mental most of the time like Woo! I did not get hurt at all I'm normally a pretty happy person like I'm always down to have fun and everything, but if I'm going through that whole like battling with a trick thing, like when people talk to me, I'll get aggravated. Even if they're like, yeah, dude, you got it this try. I'm like, I don't care, I'll burn your house down. I don't know, there's something about it. Like when you battle a trick for hours and hours and hours and you have no energy, you're out of water, like you have cotton mouth, you're like, all right, last try and you miss the trick. Just because you get mad at it doesn't mean that you can't like keep trying and keep doing it. It's like getting mad is one of the steps to overcoming what you're trying to do. I guess if you just keep getting back up and pushing yourself, and once you get it, like all those slams and all the, that bad part about it, it kind of just washes away. Like you don't even remember really anything bad. Just remember the good feeling about landing it. I mean, I tried it. I'll come back. I don't know why I get up when I feel like I shouldn't sometimes. Like, you know, like I'm, I'm like laying there and I'm like, my body hurts so bad. Like when you get heel bruised and you just keep jumping down a gap, jumping down a gap, but the adrenaline like makes it hurt way less, you know? Those times like that where you're like, man, this is going to kill me tomorrow. Like if I didn't like have my adrenaline going, like I would not be skating. But I don't know. It's like you're in the moment and you're just like, you don't want to give up. It's so deep into you, like it becomes a part of who you are. It's like, you know, you have a heart for skateboarding and you just want to do it. If you don't, like for me, if I'm not able to skate for a while, like it is one of the worst feelings ever. Like if I can't skate, I have a hard time like focusing on anything else. Like if I have like two days where I don't skate, I'm like freaking out. Like it's, I'm like off my meds or something, like I'll tweak out. It, it's just that stress reliever, it's just that it's just that freedom and it's just that outlet. Like, it's, my, it's like letting your creativity out. It's almost like a medium, like a balance in my life. Like, if, if I can skate, then everything else is okay. But if I can't, then it just, it's just not the same. Every single day I want to skate. I get off work and all I want to do is go skate. I skate the same place every single night, but it's just because I need to skate. Like, it's, there's something in me that says, like, I have to be doing this right now. I just want to skate all the time. Like. Everything else like comes after that. Like I mean, family's up there. Like you know, I'd consider skateboarding a family. Like neck and neck, of course. I mean, sometimes I miss a lot of family. Uh, what's today? Sunday. I missed a family event today because I went skating. But that's just skating for me. It's like, and for so many other people. Like, there's so many friends I have that we don't even have to talk about it. But I know that they have the same exact kind of drive I do. Like, there's no way I can describe why I wake up every day. Like, I want to go skate right now. There's something that just keeps me, keeps me going, always. I just think it's cool, like, to be able to go out and just, like, you know, kind of just not think about things for a while and just, like, skate and have fun. And then it's a good break, I guess, from everyday life. Honestly, I'd be fine just skating the rest of my life. I don't even care. I, if I just skated and had a skateboard, I. My life's, my life's already complete, I feel like. It's already just good to go. I don't even care. You, you're blessed to be able to do it. Like, if you can skateboard, if you can just even cruise, that is the best feeling ever, you know? 
that's that's the ultimate blessing like you're outside enjoying it like I don't know it's a gift it's definitely a gift like if you if you're talented enough to be able to do it like you can learn tricks do whatever like that is such a gift and take it for what it is skating's probably saved so many people from getting addicted to like some weird you know like heroin or meth or whatever you know what I mean it's like when I was a kid, I didn't even think about doing any of that stuff because I was like at the skate park, like skating. Like. I would rather like fail at something I love than be successful at something I hate, you know? And that's the truth. Like I would so much rather like just fail at skateboarding because I love it, you know? It doesn't matter because it's fun to me still. Like, like I said, like whether I do something with it, whether I don't, like I'm gonna skateboard. I'm a, I always think of people that don't skate. I'm like, what do they do all day? <laughs> I'm like, I don't get it. Like, that's how skating fills up my day. Or like, you know, like, I go skate. And like, that's what I do every day. And like, even when I can't skate right now, like my ankles hurt, I'm like bored. I'm like, this sucks. I'm just like sitting around my house, like, all right, what am I gonna do today? And it's just crazy, like, to think. I just can't even think about like what my life would be like without skating. There's been like a lot of rough patches lately. And no matter what, like I can be having such a terrible day. And if I go and I skate, it can completely change your mood, change your outlook on everything in such a positive way if you let it. And so I guess that would be my favorite thing is the fact that it can that it makes it just it makes me happy.